Welcome back, guys, and welcome to three random horror games. Typically, I'm not a fan of doing three random horror games just because once you're done with the game, it feels like you got to reset yourself to start anew. And th that's just not my style, not when it comes to horror games, at least. But it's kind of late. There's not much to play. These games are kind of short. And so I wanted to share my experience with you guys. I've kind of changed up the lighting a little bit just for the vibes and uh, sit back, relax. And welcome to the first game. Welcome to Replay. After a long and busy day, you found this old looking game on your way home. It seems interesting, so you take it with you. Alright, so welcome to the game. I suppose. What an interesting concept. From what I've read, you've got to try and finish this game here. And also, try not to die in the process. Let's begin, shall we? Okay. So, A and D and spacebar to jump are the controls. Very, very standard. Very simple. Hello? Oh, God. Let's go inside this house. Right, this is actually kind of creepy. Like, I don't know what's going to happen in my room. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of that Buried Alive game we played. I don't know why. Just because you can only move left and right with the camera. And then everything else, you got to figure it out on your own. And so I guess it's kind of taking me back. inside this big house. I like how he kind of sneaks as he collects the coins. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and try and finish the game. Level 2. Let's go inside this little red cabin. Ooh. Aw. Okay, I'm actually quite starting to get a little nervous here. Alright, we're out. Maybe perhaps the next time. I see! <laughs> Maybe perhaps the next time I see a red cabin, I'll think otherwise. I see that, that bird. I'm calling it right now. Something's gonna happen with that bird. Alright, screw it. We're going inside. Slowly. Slow. Slowly. Oh! What? Huh? What? Okay. Is he? Can we go back inside? Oh, I can't. Now I'm wondering what happens if you die in the game. We've collected eight coins. Let me just pause. Quick snack break. Not. More like a quick paranoia break. Is that the other house next door? Ah, oh, interesting. Oh. Hi. Oh, all right, let's finish. Let's try and finish the game. Oh, oh God. Like how you can play the game while looking at the door. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, what the fuck? What was that?
was that? Oh. Oh. Did you see that? Thankfully, I was a pro at Mario, so we had to be just fine in this video game. Super Mario was my shit. Easy does it. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Bro, that thing is under my bed. Now we've been teleported to a different dimension. I don't even know why this kid's got that damn WE robot poster. It's kind of creepy, dude. me playing in the game it's okay everything's gonna be just fine come on come on stupid game come on oh uh, hello <gasps> oh. what the fuck what the There's blood here. Oh my goodness, what an interesting game. We can hold on. Okay, we can no longer, why does that look like the dude on the poster? We can no longer jump in the game, so there's that. Death might just be among us. Now we've got the fucking lights flickering. Hey! <laughs> oh. It seems like everything we do in this game affects. Notice how whenever I step with this character, I hear it in my house. Meaning, we're controlling the very thing that's about to kill us. What? What? Possibly the coolest five minutes that I've ever played. My goodness. You know what's crazy about this game? That it's a game that you can totally relate to. If you take yourself way back when you were young and you would play horror games, that is exactly the same exact emotions and feelings that I was experiencing during those five, seven minutes of playing this this incredible little indie game. That was pretty sensational. That was cool. So the next game we're gonna be playing is called Jack in the Box. My son James keeps talking about this clown named Laughing Jack. I believe it's just an imaginary friend like any parent would. But ever since that day when he first talked about him, Strange things started happening. And I'm having nightmares, which look very realistic. But everything is black and white. Mm. Okay. Typically, I like to see a little bit of color in my games, but this is different. You know what? It's different. I guess we'll take it for what it is and experience the horrors of Jack. What is it? Jack in the Box? I think it's a creepypasta as well, based off of one at least. And of course, we are in what appears to be some sort of circus. Handle is missing. Hmm. Wait. Okay. So we've got a fight. Oh, it's one of those games, huh? 
these stupid jump scares for no reason. All right, we, we gotta search for this for this handle. Now, I've gotta be careful with these open windows here. I have a feeling they're gonna use that towards uh, or against my weakness, I should say. Perhaps on one of these benches, we gotta find that handle. The head bobbing is crazy OP in this game too. My goodness. I'm about to get motion sick. Should I... Wait, didn't we come from here? We came from here. Why do I feel like I'm going crazy? There's something here. Oh, we found the handle. Alright, well that was easy. Man, you know what really creeps me out in these games when you have like... say whenever you have these sorts of like games that have that background just subtle fuzz sound effect in the background it creeps me the fuck out anyways see anything okay we actually were bugged out I restarted the game and cool enough the handle was actually in a different spot anyways this is what I think was supposed to happen I'm not gonna get scared because we're gonna have Laughing Jack here pop out any second now. Good. Hmm? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I feel like we're playing as a child. We're kind of very, very, very low to the ground. Perhaps. Seven-year-old? Eight-year-old? I don't know. Oh, fuck. Confined spaces. <laughs> I hate those. A little toy car. Perfect. No big deal. I'm gonna take a sip of water, all right? That got me pretty good. Stupid Jack. No. Oh, it's not all black and white, night. What the fuck is this? Hello? What the hell is this dude doing in my house? He's probably in my son's room. Either that or he's hooking up with my wife. They're making a whole lot of noise up there. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? Where's little Timmy's room? Fuck. I need to grab a knife. Go to the kitchen. Grab a knife. Grab a knife. Wherever you are, you're not taking my son away from me. You bastard. <laughs> what the? I thought this was all a nightmare. Fuck 
right. Here he comes. <laughs> Come on, Laughing Jack. Do your worst. Oh, God, what a surprise. It's empty. This might actually be a nightmare in itself. He's behind me, isn't he? That's right. Yo, know, that dude is creepy. Holy shit. This time, it wasn't just a nightmare anymore. Jack in the box. All right. I mean, that was all right. That was not bad. It was. <laughs> it was actually shorter than the last one. I, I don't know. Maybe. So far. This is a pretty cool concept. Super, super short games. I might do this for like really short games like these. But we've got one more to go. Welcome to Lamp Post. Recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. The random lamp post SCP XXXX is currently under supervision from Team Alpha. They are heading towards the location in order to conduct a research and give further answers to this unknown anomaly. Based on the rumors, the lamppost uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes in contact with it. Cool. Dr. Hayden. Our intel suggests that this is a Keter class SCP, which means that it is difficult to contain. We should be very careful while observing this object. SCP-XXXX doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but it's somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. Now, I know there have been multiple SCP sorts of ish like games. I've never played any of them, so I don't even know what it is. Please don't roast. I just I just haven't played them. You can clearly I know it's a popular thing nowadays. You can clearly see that we are surrounded by forest, yet the object in this area appeared from unknown locations. We contain those objects. Oh crap. Here, this is an analog analog multimeter. It is used to measure electrical quantities like frequency, signals, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by lampposts and collect them. I'll be checking for another anomaly as well. Dr. Cooper will observe us. Just in case if anything happens, find Dr. Thorne. will provide us with medical help if we need any. Collect at least five samples. Report to Dr. Cooper and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant. Avoid interactions with the lamppost and good luck. What a weird sort of... Okay, how do I... Collect five objects. Hmm. Well, there's a bunch of things here. We've got some jerry cans. A whole lot of jerry cans. We've got a shovel with blood in the corner. That sure seems uh, normal. More blood over here. Oh, crap. What the hell was that? Do I have an inventory? I was looking at the multimeter. Another one. All right. Three more to go. I kind of do wish it would count down when I would collect, you know, when you collect a, an object or whatnot. Maybe I'm just being kind of lazy. Let's go ahead and venture off to the other side of the forest, shall we? This very, very complex and huge forest that we are so-called exploring in. Trash bags. Ooh. Wait. Oh. Perfect. Alright, we got two more to go. We collected three. We got two more to go. I wonder if some of them are hiding like under the grass or within the grass, excuse me. I like to think that tall grass is not there just to look pretty. 
Perhaps it is. Ooh, one more. VHS. No idea how I missed that the first time around. Got the fan. The other one's got to be like very, very, very hidden. Because I feel like I've searched this entire... Oh, maybe this one? Nope. Hmm. Oh! oh there it is, man. I knew it. I, I just knew it. It was going to be hiding in the tall grass. I probably passed that a couple times. You guys are probably screaming at me through the screen, but promise I didn't see it. This is Dr. Thorne. Regular looking lamppost, right? Except... Its light glows more intensely. It spans a shorter range. We must... Be very careful with it. I already feel uncomfortable around it. This is Cooper here. Impressive work. We need to pack those things and get them back to the laboratory to ensure their safety. Not to mention, this area is very dangerous for us as well. Although, do you wonder where those objects are coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van. You saw that too, right? Dr. Cooper, no one is allowed in this area. Yet there are so many objects in here. Could it be that the SCP moves those objects from somewhere? Maybe even from another dimension? Your analog multimeter is picking up high frequency. Damn! Oh no! The lamppost! What the fuck? Oh. There's the lamppost. Oh my god. What the fuck? What is this? I want to go back to my homies exploring woods and stuff. Data unknown. We discovered something out of this world. It is a regular lamppost emitting a dim light. Anyone who tied or who tried to get close to it vanished in front of our eyes. My theory is that this vortex of photos create a dimensional bridge between our reality and something else. A dark place where time is non-existent. The lampposts become active when there is a surge of electricity around. After that, it starts emitting strong lights, and if anyone touches it, the lamppost and the object or a person disappear. Why do we have a skeleton with blood? Red and bit. <laughs> Hello? Hey! Cooper? Was it? Cooper's anomaly? Find a way out. Okay. Perhaps I need a floppy disk to insert it in there. That way we can get out. Possibly not. Okay, we've got to be careful. This is, in fact, a maze. This is the second game that we have to somehow escape of some sort of maze-like... Maze? Cassette tape? Okay, so we'll be back. We'll do a uh, process of elimination. Do I have to touch the lamppost to get out? Let me touch it. Probably a really stupid idea, but we're already here anyways. What's the worst that could happen, right? Alright, next one is this one. <gasps> Fuck. Coco Coco. Alright. I'm starting to get a little lost. Oh my goodness. What the fuck? Hello, sir? Is this where I came from? <laughs> Unknown date. Sometimes the lamppost can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in time or return them back. No one knows what happened to those who returned, but one thing is clear, that those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow figure. It whispers your name. It suffocates your flesh and feeds, uh, feeds you with hope. When it's done, there's nothing left of you. Damn, bro, relax. It's just a game. Away, Satan! 
Unfortunately for you, this is my third horror game back to back to back. Possibly my personal best. I will not get scared this time around. Loser. All right, I think this is where we came from. Now, now, now it's starting to make sense. This is the last, uh, no, we came here. That's the post. Then we went over there. But we came from here. So how the hell do I find a way out? That, that doesn't even make sense. Unless I keep going this way. But we came from here. What if we go back from the original spot that we came from? Did we go down here? Ah, oh, we didn't go down here. Date unknown. To any observing this, it will look like a person, a dark figure. In the blink of an eye, it will vanish. But appear once more. We call it the photo shadow, which was created by the slam post. It is always around the corner. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe and it will trap you in there forever without realizing that your flesh does no longer belong to you. <laughs> Fuck. This is gonna... Hayden? 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 Jaden? He dropped, dropped your eyeball there, pal. See it? Oh, fuck. Well, it seems like the, the, the photo shadow took him. He's a goner. He's definitely a goner. All right, we've done everything we could. I've been everywhere. Now, where the hell do I go to next? Should I go back to the lamppost and touch it? Maybe... Maybe I gotta turn on all the computers, possibly. That that could actually be it. Now, now, now that I think about it, that might be the secret here. Oh, whoa, dude, I was not expecting that. Did I already turn them all on? Maybe I just wanted me to... Oh, shit, we're here. Whoa, <laughs> hey, <laughs> what's up, guys? This is a party. We're having a party tonight. Okay. All right. Okay. That ended very abruptly. And obviously I said one ending ambiguous, an ambiguous ending, oh, kind of vague. Um, thank you all so much for watching. This has been three random games, three random horror games. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I wanted to do a, you know, something a little bit different for you guys. It's a little late. I wasn't even going to record, to be honest, but I figured why not. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite one. I think the first one was possibly the best one. Just the idea of it was sensational. It's called Replay. I hope you enjoyed all of them. And uh, if you did, drop me a like if you'd like to see more of this. And uh, I'll catch you guys later.